Do you know how to use direct variation and proportions to solve a real-world problem? Take a look at this one about apple picking. The Smiths went apple picking. They picked one peck of apples. One peck of apples is equal to 10.5 pounds, or 10.5 pounds is another way to say it. Those apples cost them $20. The Watsons went apple picking right after the Smith family did, but the Watsons only brought $10 with them. If they only brought $10, how many pounds of apples could they get? Hmm, let's write a proportion and see if we can figure this out. We know that one peck which is 10.5 pounds, or 10.5 pounds, cost the Smith family $20. That's our ratio. We're comparing pounds to dollars. And this is also constant. It's not going to change. Now, the amount of pounds you get would vary depending on the amount of money that you're going to spend. So let's say 10.5 pounds equals twenty dollars and the Watson family only brought ten dollars. How many pounds did they get? That's our variable. Now we have a proportion. We have pounds to dollars and we have questionable pounds to dollars. Now we can cross multiply and solve this proportion. So we're first let's do twenty times x is 20x equals 10 and a half times 10. Let's bring that over here. 20x equals 10 and a half times 10. Now, let's bring down the 20x. 10 and a half times 10 equals 105. Now we're going to divide both sides by 20 and x is equal to 5.25 or we could say 5 and 1 quarter pounds. What if the Watson family had $15? How would this change the number of pounds that they could buy? Well, we can set the problem up the same way. We have 10 and a half pounds was twenty dollars and now we have fifteen dollars and we're still wondering about the number of pounds that they could buy. Now let's cross multiply. We have twenty times x is twenty x. We have ten point five times fifteen which is one hundred fifty seven point five. Divide both sides by twenty these cancel. X is equal to 7.875. So we can say that for that amount of money the family could buy approximately 8 pounds of apples.